I love stories. And my granddad, Humpskin, his name was Lloyd, like I said, and he would tell the best stories ever. So for my grandfather tonight and um, for your entertainment pleasure, I'd like to share with you his favorite and my favorite story. Now, if you tell a story one way, it's a story, but if you tell it inside out or upside down, it's called a spoonerism. So instead of saying once upon a time, you would say tons upon a wine. Well, I'll show you. I hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> it's a Terry fail. <laughs> Tons of water pine, make that once upon a time. In a corn country, make that foreign country. There lived a beautiful girl named Rindersella. Now, Rindersella, she lived with her muggly other <laughs> and her two sad blisters. They made Rindersella wean the clindos, flub the scores, and just do all the wordy, wordy dirt. It's true. Also, in this same corn country, lived a very pransom hints. That's true as well. The pransom hints was going to have a bancy fall and the pings calloused. So he invited the people for Riles a Mound, especially the pitch reaple. <laughs> Rich people. But when the night of the Bansy Fall arrived, Rinder Sella could not go because all she had to wear were some old ruddy dags. So she just crept down and tried. While she was critting there trying, all at once there appeared unto her her Gary Mudfather. He touched her with his magic wand, and in a pig puff of smoke, she was wearing a designer gown by Bob Mackey, later worn by the First Lady. Sorry, that just slipped in. But there was a kick boach and Hicks White sources. Then he warned Rindersella, go to the Bansy Fall, but be back before the mink light strikes night or I'll turn you into a tumpkin. <laughs> so Rindersella rode off to the Bansy Fall where she was met by the Pransom Hints. He saw her coming through a wooden window and he said to himself, my, my, that's the most beautiful burl I've ever ate lies on. <laughs> and so <clears throat> they, uh, they danced all night and they lull and fub. It was an 80s remix. Never mind. They always lull and fub in Terry Fails, you know. Just then, the mint clock struck night, and Rindersella stays down the rares, and just as she beats the rodham, she slopped her dripper. <laughs> it's true. The next day, the prance of hints went all over the corn country looking for the foot to fit the sass dipper. Finally, he came to Rindersella's house. He tried to mug the other, it fit and did. He tried the two single usters, it fit and did, it fit and did. Finally, he tried the Rindersella, it fit and did, it fit and did. It was exactly the sight rise. So Rindersella and the Pransom Hints mock garried. And they lived heavily after backward. Thank you. So, the Storl of the Mori is this. Ladies, if you ever go to a Bansy Fall and want to have the Prats of Hints lull and fuck with you, don't forget to slop your dripper. <laughs>